What you're looking at is the main baddie's choice, the compact and light AKS 74U. Based on the full-size AKS-74, a shortened carbine was made in 1979 and put into action in the Soviet Army. The U stands for Ukarachini, or shortened. It's pretty much the same as the full-size AKS except it's more compact and has a different sight system, and a few other details. The muzzle velocity decreased from 2,953 feet per second to 2,411 feet per second in the AK-74U. It fires the 5.45 by 39 millimeter round. The 74U comes with a standard trickle charger, 8.4 volt stick type battery, standard bag of crappy BBs, an unjamming rod, 600 round high cap mag, and a bright orange barrel. The, oh, I, I mean the 74U. This is the Bravo AK-74U. It's a uh, lightweight. It's good for the price. It's uh, made of polymer, so uh, it's very lightweight. The charging handle is metal. This is polymer. Um, this might be metal. The folding stock, the sling mount is metal. This is orange, so you noobs don't go out in public with it. So it's a polymer gun and good for the price, but is it worth it? To find out we came to the sandy dunes of Backyardy Iraq, located in Iraq. As for the gun itself, here's what you get. It's an AK, so you get a trigger, some sights, and that classic funky mag release. And that is that. But it's an AKS 74 u so you also get a foldable stock, the release is on the left and an AK side rail mount which is blocked by the stock when folded. On the right side is the fire selector switch. It has some sling mounts in the usual places as well as the hop up in the usual place under the bolt. As for the battery, it's housed under the top compartment. So the Bravo 74U is pretty cheap. It's compact and it's light. For what you get and the price, it's a great gun and especially great for CQB. To make this gun even better, there's a star on the side. Matches the star right here. Eh? BPS. <laughs> <laughs> Why?